Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the 204S Sickle Scaler. This is a posterior sickle that can be used on those posterior teeth. And because it is a sickle, it is a super gingival instrument. So now if you take a closer look here um, at the, um, the tip, it has a pointed tip. Now this instrument has two cutting edges, one on each side, and um, I'm gonna show you how to use it, so let's get to it. So now we put, uh, before we begin, it is important to know which is the correct end that you will be using. So in order to really find out which is the correct end, uh, working end, uh, you can start by placing the instrument into approximately between any two posterior teeth. So um, right here, you can see that the lower shank is parallel to the distal aspect of that uh, second premolar. So having the lower shank being nice and uh, parallel to the long axis of the tooth is what you want to see. And then you see how the uh, functional shank goes up and over the tooth. Now that is how you know you have the correct uh, end. Uh, now for, um, if I were to place my instrument incorrectly, you can clearly see how the tip is pointing outward. So that is not correct. Okay, so now this is the correct working end. So now we're gonna learn how to use it on these posterior teeth. All right, so first I'm going to begin by making sure that I have the tip third of my instrument uh, adapted 100% onto my tooth. And I'm gonna start from the distal line angle and begin to roll and work establishing that 70 to 80 degree angulation towards my distal. Then I'm going to come and reinsert the instrument here, starting from the distal line angle and working my way across the buckle and making sure that I am establishing that 70 to 80 degree angulation for proper calculus removal. making sure I am con uh, maintaining uh, my fulcrum and rocking on my fulcrum and just slightly tilting the lower shank towards the mesial aspect of that tooth, making sure I am maintaining that 70 to 80 degree angulation. I am also making sure that I am pivoting up on my fulcrum so that way I can maintain the toe third nicely adapted to the tooth. And that is how you use the 204S Sickle Scaler. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and uh, share and subscribe. And stay tuned for more to come.